here. Had a um, interesting couple of days, but um, beautiful week. Mm-hmm. You know, ready for uh, ready for a nice weekend again. Yeah, I think we're gonna have one this weekend. I think Looks so. Like it. I think so. Mm-hmm. So, who do we have in our studio today? Oh, kind we... of uh, making us laugh. Before the show. <laughs> I know we're having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> She's a dear friend, and she just opened a brand new business. It's Sarah Duvall Pearson, and she is the owner. And also, you are also one of the teachers, and you're the artistic director yes. of Cherry, the Cherry Hill Performing Arts Center, and she just opened last weekend. So congratulations on your opening. Thank you very much. It's nice to have you on Morning Coffee. Thank you for having me. So fill us in. What is happening in your new space? Well, I will be offering singing, dancing, acting, uh, audition preparatory classes. I'm going to have um, some masters there. I have a couple Broadway stars lined up. Oh, that's exciting. Cool. Yes, yes. And eventually I would love to do a, um, a cabaret. That's which, always fun. Yes, yeah, which, will, which will feature um, Tuta, oh, excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> Tuta Tuscani's um, restaurant. We're going to pair mm-hmm. up and do a, di- a dinner and a show. Oh, that's fun. Yes, no. that'd be great. I'm not a, a, a performing person. What's a cabaret? Yes, you are. You're on morning coffee. You're performing yeah. every morning. Now I am performing, <laughs> yeah. But. Well, if you would do this and then throw in a little song, then you can consider that a cabaret. Really? <laughs> yes, absolutely. So if I sing the morning coffee, that's a cabaret? Yes. Uh-huh. All right, that's a not going to happen. Morning right? coffee right. cabaret. A morning called. coffee cabaret. Well, maybe come okay. on and get that started. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Okay. <laughs> So, so a cabaret is where you actually, you know, you set up sort of cafe style tables and yes. usually you have either food or wine or tapas or whatever your theme is. Yes. And then various performers come in and So is that sing. like where like the, um, like uh, back in the, you see the mobster movies with the women with the big dresses and they're kind of doing like, they're kicking off. That's the, a can-can. Oh, that's a can-can. All right. See, I don't know this that's stuff. Okay. That's the can-can. I know, that's a can-can. All right. I'll shut up, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I am also doing a musical theater camp in July for kids. Oh, I'm that's do cool. Annie Jr. Oh, nice. So when does that run? That runs July 6th to the 30th. Okay. Is it's it every the, day? It's during the day, Monday to Thursday from 9 to 3. That's and then awesome. they'll be able to stay after for aftercare for mm-hmm. those parents. Oh, that's that great. Work. Yes. Mm-hmm. And what age is for camp? You have to be going into first grade. Okay, so first is it grade. first through high school? Through first senior? through high school, yes. But my classes during the week will be ages four all the way through adults. I'm having adult classes as well. Adult dance classes, Adult maybe? musical theater dance mm-hmm. classes. Put me on that list. Okay. <laughs> do, you, do you find that a lot of the younger the younger generation is, is coming on board with it? I mean, because, and let me uh, uh, tell you why. Because it seems like every time I talk to someone and they're in theater, we do an interview, it's like they couldn't do it during high school and younger, but they do mm-hmm. it now. And they always say, I wish I could have. But right. do you find that they're really starting to gravitate towards that? Absolutely. I feel like there aren't a lot of musical theater um, schools around. So right. they, they're forced to do it either recreationally, and, and there's not a lot of information as far as auditions are concerned. So parents oh, don't know, know where that. to take their mm-hmm. children right. to be a part of it. Mm-hmm. And then they do wait till they get to high school, and then they try out for, you know, the one-act plays or the musicals right. in high school. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they don't they didn't have a lot of schools. When I was growing up, we had Triple Threat Performing Arts Well, Center. let's talk about your journey, because I know you were at Triple Threat. You performed at the Ritz. You triple performed threat? in New York. That sounds so. like a gang. You part of a gang? <laughs> yes. Okay. It's the actor's it's gang. Triple Threat. Do you know what that means? <laughs> No. <laughs> it means you can sing, you can dance, and you can act. So you have oh, triple cool. the triple the talent. Yes. So you're a badass there. Oh, is that allowed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. You sure. allowed to say that word? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so Sarah, you started out a triple threat. Were you in grade school or in high school? I uh, no, actually, I started more in my twenties. Okay. Yes. But it was just becoming hugely popular mm-hmm. then, and we did a lot of musicals. Um, Drew Malotsky was one of yes. the artistic directors. Mm-hmm. He and I went to high school together, so we have that Cherry Hill, you know, root mm-hmm. uh, in our blood, which is why I wanted to keep this in Cherry Hill and right. bring it back. Because when yeah, Triple great. Threat closed their doors, they what didn't happened have to all of their students and all their performances? That they they are famous now. We mm-hmm. got a lot of famous people from Cherry Hill. Yeah, yeah, a lot I of know. talent. 
Now, do you dance any type of dance? Or? So the, the cool thing about the whole musical theater is mm -hmm. there are all styles of dance in musical theater, as everyone right. knows. There's, there's jazz, there's tap, there's ballet, there's Modern. funk, hip-hop. Yeah. I mean, so instead of having a um, typical dance studio where you would have to pick a style of dance, mm -hmm. musical theater dance will encapsulate like all of those all styles. Of so if you sign up for a session, my sessions are going to be quarterly. So about 12 to 14 weeks a piece. Um, if you're, you know, you would only really be committed to say you're going to do a tap number from 42nd Street. Right. The first couple weeks you would learn a dance. Mm -hmm. And then if you didn't really like it, you knew that that wouldn't be forever. forever. Right. So you're going the, to next the next week you would have, you know, maybe something from Newsies yeah. or, you know, another show. Mm -hmm. But I think that's interesting because, you know what, in that world, in that industry, you know, if you're really going to play with the big boys, you're going to be asked to do anything. So Absol you should learn exactly. to do anything. Absolutely. That's, that's, that's a know. very good point. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, I've always found it interesting that, you know, you have opera, uh, opera singers. We don't dance. I go, but you're in an opera. You really should know how to move while you're singing. And then you have other uh, Shakespearean actors. We don't dance. Right. You really should know anyway. If you are an actor and you want to be a true performer, you should really be engaged in all areas. You don't have to be the best in any of it, but right. you should know it. You're absolutely right? right. I cannot tell you how many auditions I've gone on where there's such a stereotype where yes. singers can't dance, or it's mm -hmm. singers who move. That's it. What or, is that? Singers who move. I right. can never understand it. We'll have a movement <laughs> audition. Where are we moving to? Right. What is the movement right. audition? Right. Are we dancing? It's basically yeah. you can like step touch. Step the touch, touch. <laughs> right, and then the same with. See, I started teaching voice out of my house, and a lot of my vocal students aren't comfortable with dance. So right. we started talking about, you know, oh, maybe you should take a dance class to mm -hmm. be able to go into an audition very confident, knowing that you could pick up a combination. Right, and, and then breathe. vice versa. Right, and with a dancer who doesn't really feel comfortable singing, you mm -hmm. get stuck in one style. Well, that's me. I'm the dancer that I'm not comfortable singing. Okay. So this school will um, allow and enable performers to try things in a very positive atmosphere, mm -hmm. whether you're just doing it recreationally or whether you want to go on to college to do it. I'm trying to have a, an environment where you can just be yourself, and build explore, confidence, explore. explore whether you want to go forward with more of the singing, whether you want to go forward with more of the acting, or whether you want to stick with dance. Mm -hmm. I think so. that's great. So back to you. So you started at Triple Threat, and I know that you did have some time in New York too as well, right? I did. I did. I started college. Um, funny story, my father said, well, if you're going to be a Broadway star and you don't make it, you have to have something to fall ba back back on. Backup plan. Backup plan. So I was like, okay, I'll be a nurse because <laughs> Oh, I nurses, don't know that. I didn't know that. Oh, well, <laughs> I don't tell many people that uh -oh. because I didn't get very far with nursing school. <laughs> but nurses have in odd schedules where you yeah, can work at night and maybe go to auditions during the day. Mm -hmm. So I went for a year and I was like, forget this. Oh, boy. And I've moved to New York three months shy of my 21st birthday. And I was one of the first Ellen Stardust diners. Oh, I love it in there. That's so oh, fun. Yes. Fill, fill Keith in on, on the restaurant. Well, you know what? Let's take a quick commercial oh, okay. break. Good and idea. We're gonna, we'll come back with the uh, restaurant. Great, there's commercials. We yeah. Do. yeah, we'll be right back. For independent living for seniors sure. age 62 and over, People Inc. offers safe, maintenance-free apartments across Western New York. The affordable rent is income-based. For more information, call People Inc. Senior Living at 817-9090. Looking for a cooking oil with a light flavor and reduced absorption so food preserves its natural flavor? One with a high smoke point for stir frying, sauteing, grilling, and baking? Then choose all natural Pompeian 100% grapeseed oil imported from France. Grapes have been a key ingredient of the healthy Mediterranean diet for years. Pompeian 100% grapeseed oil is the chef's choice for high heat cooking, grilling, stir frying, sauteing, or even deep frying. And Pompeian 100% grapeseed oil is great for baking too, because its delicate taste does not overwhelm the flavor of cakes, cookies, and other favorite recipes. A key traditional ingredient of the Mediterranean, grapeseed oil is a rich source of vitamin E antioxidant and naturally gluten-free. 
Buy imported Pompeian 100% grapeseed oil today and find great recipes at Pompeian.com. Wait, don't let this happen to you. At Jan Fence, we're family owned and operated for over 50 years, providing a wide choice of fencing. Why wait online at the big box store? Just call Jan Fence. Ask about our easy fence to go products by Active Yards, the first truly do it yourself fence product. At Jan Fence, we always do what we say. Come see us today. Step into an extraordinary world that will excite your senses. Experience our delectable Mughlai cuisine and the magic of Tandoori Savoir Faire. Let our international award-winning team delight you with a taste of heaven. Enjoy our mouth-watering flavors and our unique flair for excellence. Savor the elegance of fine dining and catering. Shazam Restaurant. Indulge your taste buds. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Martha, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Back, I'm Keith Reynolds, host of Morning Coffee. I'm here with my co-host Charlene Chamberlain and Char, who's our very We're funny guest. We're on with Sarah Duval Pearson, and she is the owner of the brand new Cherry Hill Performing Arts Center. And right before the break, we were talking about her stint at <coughs> Ellen Stardust Diner. Oh boy, um, one of my favorites. When I go to New York, I was there. Well, last time's been probably a couple of years. It was kind of crazy, busy in there, and very loud and boisterous and noisy and all those great things that you expect in New York, but it was a lot of fun. So what happened to you? How did you get there? Well, I haven't been there in years. Okay. <laughs> so you were there in the very early days. I was. The restaurant didn't even exist. They were under construction. Oh, boy. Wow. Okay. So I saw um, an ad <coughs> in the um, the newspaper. Back was a Not backstage. sure you all know what that is because most people don't read them anymore. True. <laughs> like, <laughs> but back in the day, you had to wait for the newspaper to come out, the, uh, the Village Voice. Or backstage, too. Oh, yes. Backstage. And then you had to quickly look through and see all the auditions. Yes. So in there it had hiring singing waitresses and I went to um, the Iridium which is mm -hmm. in Lincoln Center. They have a jazz club in the basement and right. I sang a song and this was on a Sunday and she said oh that was great can you start on Tuesday? And oh, I was boy. like um okay <laughs> sure because you got to make it work if you really yes, want that's it right. you got to make do it, it work right absolutely so i did i started there i trained in the diner on i think it's 47th and 7th because the other one wasn't open yet right and then when the other one opened there we were wow how long were you there i was only there for about 6 months Awesome. Well, because I got another job. Mm -hmm. In New York, when you're trying to make it, you yeah, exactly. kind of hop around to you know right. make ends meet. So what brought you back here? Well, I started working for a, a company called Pomp, Duck, and Circumstance. Mm -hmm. It was a German company. They Pomp, came over. Duck, and Six. Say that fast. A couple Pomp. Times. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like the pomp and circumstance, you know, da okay. da da da, da. Right. Okay. And then their main course was duck. It mm -hmm. was like this velvet mirrored tent in the, and it was like theater in the round. And they had like aerial artists and jugglers mm -hmm. and things like that. And they did four courses and the main course was duck and they traveled around. It's the company's now owned by Cirque du Soleil. Interesting. Yes, but we went, I traveled with them. So I mm -hmm. went to Atlanta, Georgia during the 96 Summer Olympics. Nice. And, the, and they didn't do very well down there. So they closed mm -hmm. and left, and um, I went back to Cherry Hill, where I'm from, mm -hmm. and the rest is history. Right. And now you have a school. <laughs> now I have a school. Right. But I continued to perform. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. And um, have children. Mm -hmm. I would do like a child and then a show and then a child and then a show. <laughs> yeah. And then a child and then a show. Well, let's talk about shows. I mean, it is a pretty big time commitment if you are doing any type of theater, musical theater, straight theater. The rehearsal schedule alone is a killer. It's usually three, four nights a week, right? Yes. Well, if you're doing it just um, locally. Locally, mm -hmm. yes. It's usually three nights a week. Right, yes. So and you have to, you, most people have a real job, mm -hmm. and then they do the rehearsals in the evening. Right, and then you have to um, also earmark time for all the performances, Correct. and that's usually every weekend. Yes, and maybe mm -hmm. a Wednesday or Thursday. Right, or maybe there. a Wednesday or Thursday. Mm -hmm. But if you're big time and you're on Broadway, that's a whole different schedule there. Yes, so when I was doing stuff at the Walnut, 
that is like that is what they treat you, it that way. Yes. yes. So I joined. I I became an EMC, an equity equity membership candidate, mm -hmm. uh, to get your equity points to be right. in the union. And once you're in the union and you get cast in an actual show, then right. that's really your full time job. I mean, yes. it goes from nine to five, mm -hmm. just like any other job. And you're there Monday through not Monday. Monday's it's equity a dark now. day. Yeah. Tuesday to Sunday. Mm -hmm. So it's. It's a lot. It's a big commitment. Yeah. But is it, it is. a paid gig though? It's a paid gig. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's paid. You're, you're yeah. Paid. yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a full. That's your yeah. full time job. Right. That's your full. -time and what job. is it? You said you have to get a certain amount of what points? Points. Yeah. So what do you do for points? You have to do different shows or? Well, you have to get cast in a sh in an equity show. Okay. So once you get cast in an equity show, they give you an application to apply like to equity. earn points, mm -hmm. and you okay. get one point per work week that you're working gotcha. in within that theater. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you know what, just for any, anybody that's just starting out in the industry, what is a tip you can give them? Don't do it? Don't give up. <laughs> Don't give up. Don't give up. Never give up. Um, never um, hold back. Don't ever hold back. Every time you only get one chance to make a first impression and never hold back because they can always tell you to you know, quiet down or bring it down, but mm -hmm. you'll never get the chance to, you know, show them everything that you've got. Right. So mm -hmm. that's you, probably, no, I have you, a lot of, I have a lot of other advice and tips, but we <laughs> so, you know, do you think, is there any way that you think that, that the industry has changed from when oh, you started? Absolutely. absolutely. I feel like it's a lot harder to make it now. I know uh, several friends of mine, who have been in shows and things are closing on Broadway. There's just a change. Back when, when I was younger, it was like the good old um, Oklahoma oh, and right. South Pacific. It was all the get good. Gone. Yeah. Now we have this change. I, think, I feel like when Rent came around, it started this whole new um, contemporary feel of theater. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of real material and real stories that are mm -hmm. being made with musical theater now. Yes. And a lot of the good old apple pie stuff is just not, mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's still there, but I feel like a lot of it, it's just, it's changing, it's changing. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It do absolutely you, is. Do you have a, a performer that, that you find that uh, kind of inspired you? Actor, actress, something? When now or when I was younger? Well, I guess to inspire you to get into it and stuff like that. And um, well, I've always loved Liza Minnelli, obviously. Liza and Minnelli. you know, growing up, cool. the, the people Bernadette Peters, the people that were that you saw on camera. Because when you're younger, you you see tele you have television, you see you have yeah. television, and so movies. it's not necessarily and movies. And movies mm -hmm. Yes. So I love the the actors that are doing both like especially nowadays when you have really legitimate actors or singers that s are authentic and they sound exactly the way they do on tv or on a record in person yes right. you know nothing's being digitally mm -hmm. enhanced changed. Yep. yes and so, they know their publicist is not telling them to do something crazy because they've hit their kind of level of right. talent so right. that's how they're being yes yeah or the ones that write their own music or can play another instrument mm -hmm. or can dance like if you're just one dimensional it can only get you so far right did you say or can dance or can't can? Can, can, oh. can. He's still hooked on I was going to say, can, that's can. My, is that my cue? Left, <laughs> yes. Left him out of the Well, speaking of dancing, oh, we're going to take a quick break, and I have a, I have an interesting question for you. And I'm going to can, can dance when we come back. <laughs> oh, I'd like to see that. <laughs> In a world where bankers have lost all interest, where robots and fat cats rule our fortunes, one woman... Hi. We'll stand up and strive to do the impossible. Be treated like a person. Friends and neighbors will join her quest. Ordinary people will band together against the forces of corporate greed. And together, they will form Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. Already in a neighborhood near you. Imagine the finest hand-selected USDA prime steak you'll ever have. The freshest line-caught seafood. Our Wine Spectator award-winning wine list. And soul-satisfying desserts. Bring that together with the perfect date. The winning business deal. A memorable family celebration. Welcome to Rod Steak and Seafood Grill in nearby Morristown, New Jersey. Bring your appetite and feed your passion. 
Your credit score is yours, and at Experian Credit Expert, we want to help you really use it. With access to helpful Experian experts over the phone and online, we can help you use it to get a better idea of what info the banks have on you. Use it to get more choice of mortgages. Use it to make your money go further. Take the next step to improving your financial future with your free 30-day trial at experian.co.uk. Here at Freppy's Tex-Mex, you can definitely taste the freshness in our food. You should definitely come to Freppy's because it's a great place. You can bring your family, very kid friendly. All my servers are amazing, friendly people. Everyone here is just happy to serve and, and I think it shows. The thing that sets us apart is the quality and freshness of our food. And I think once you try it, you'd be coming back. I'm Joe Desario, co-owner of Freppy's Tex-Mex in Plainfield, New Jersey. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Well, welcome back. I'm Keith Reynolds, host of Morning Coffee, here with my show host, Car Charlene Chamberlain. I did it again. Co-host, show host, co-host, co-host. Co uh, co yeah. <laughs> well, so, we were just talking to Sarah uh, before the break. Um, we were talking about all the things that the school offers, yeah, so can -can. and he was talking yeah, about the can can. I did it, Keith did the can can, but you know what? I we did were, it. We can't really show. I had a big poofy dress on. <laughs> he needs some lessons from Sarah. <laughs> yeah. I kicked and fell down, so. No, not a, it wasn't pretty. Um, Sarah told us that she's actually performing and choreographing for Dancing with the Cherry Hill Stars. Yes. That's exciting. Cherry now, Hill. is this your second or this third year? This is my year? third year. Third year. Cherry Hill Dancing with the Stars is a um, fundraiser for the Cherry Hill Education mm -hmm. Foundation, founded by Eleanor Stockman. Right. She's an amazing woman, she and is. the uh, opportunities that she's provided our public schools is amazing. Mm -hmm. So yes, I am choreographing a couple uh, that both teach uh, for Cherry Hill West. Oh, nice. They're special education teachers. Now, you're choreographing their numbers. Their numbers. Now, do they have a professional dancer and a non-professional, or are they both non-professionals? Okay, so here's how it Because usually, I know it used to be a professional it, paired with a non-professional business person in the community, it's right? It's supposed to be, yes. Right. But in their case, they opted to dance together so I'm helping them choreograph their So they're both non-professional? Yes. Oh how exciting for both of them. They're scared to death. Oh, I'm sure <laughs> they are. <laughs> Do you want to give them a shout out? <laughs> sure Michael and Deb. Sure. Okay, Michael and Deb. <laughs> yes. Don't be afraid it'll be fine. You'll be fine. They, they begged right. me to go first so oh, they could just get it over with but we can't determine the order. No. Mm -mm. So and yes and then I'm dancing in it as the professional. Okay. With the Cherry Hill star is um, Frankie Wow. Rouse, he works for the Cherry Hill Discovery Museum. I didn't know that. So he's okay, representing. From theater. Yes. Yeah. He's representing the the uh, Discovery Museum. Great for Cherry Hill. How yes. fun! And what is that event? That is on May third. Okay. Uh, it is sold out. So mm -hmm. if you are interested in tickets, you have to get on a waiting list. Right. They did. They sold out the fastest they've ever yeah. done. In the and that West. raises a lot of funds. It does. It raises really, a lot of money. Really a lot. And where is it? Where's the event at? It, it's always held in the new auditorium at Cherry Hill West High School. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very yes. cool. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, very cool. It's a country western theme this year. It is. It the is. whole really? oh, They don't usually theme. They do. Last year was Hollywood. Yeah, this oh, year's okay. country western. So oh, you have my. to come up with a country western dance? Yes. And well, it music. doesn't necessarily have to be that style, but you have to dance to that, that music. That music, okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's pretty interesting. So are you allowed because to we're, say? we're actually doing a little bit of a different kind can of you dance, say, can say. Can you say what your song is? Or is that under wraps until then? It's under wraps. Okay. I can say it's by Rascal Flatts. Okay. Yes. That's fine. Yes. Gotcha. I will be singing in it, too. <laughs> okay. I'll be singing really? a uh, Carrie Underwood song. Oh, nice. Wait, That's wait, you, wonderful. You have, you have to sing, dance, part of this performance? I've never been there before. No. 
No, so usually, so there's a lot of dancers and to right. fill time and they have to keep you entertained so that oh. you're not just watching it. They do, they kind of intersperse gotcha. singing and other, um, a lot of times they have lo the local high school musicians sometimes mm -hmm. right. perform. Right. So. Gotcha. Yeah. It's, it's very community, cool. it's very community based. It's really a cool night out. Cool. It really cool. is a lot of fun, especially if you're a big dance fan. Yes. Right. And you mentioned that you have, you're offering some free classes. I am. So we just had our grand opening. I had a mayor ribbon cutting with Chuck Kahn nice. last Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And I saw the picture of Mel Zimmerman was there. Mel Zimmerman mm -hmm. with his uh, business entitlement services. Right. Yes, he helped the ribbon cutting come to, to life. And then I had um, a little sneak peek for friends and family and then it was open to the public on mm -hmm. Sunday so they could see the space. And now I'm going to offer free classes all next week. Nice. Very nice. Just to get an idea of who we are, to see the space, mm -hmm. to kind of get a feel for And how long are classes? Well, if you go onto my website, they're all listed on the front page. It's Monday, okay. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Okay. All the classes we'll normally offer, they're just free. So now, are they going to, is it going to be a half an hour class or are they Nope, an it's going to be the full class. But are they an hour? Your classes an hour? Uh, all of them are an hour except for um, I have two little kid classes that are ages four to eight because. Um, I get a lot of inquiries from parents that are saying, oh, Mary loves to sing in the car. Mm -hmm. She's got a great voice. I want to get Mary voice lessons. And I'm right. like, well, how old is Mary? Oh, she's five. And I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. well, Mary shouldn't be, you know, getting vo yeah. vocal lessons right now. Don't waste your money. Right. But if she enjoys singing, let's teach her what goes into a song. Verses, mm -hmm. refrains, maybe some music theory, like yeah. where's middle C on the piano, you know, things of that nature. So I have a class. It's called Sing Along Sensations, which is oh, I SASS. Love it. It's yeah. really it's called it's SASS. Cute. And that's for four to eight year olds and that's forty five minutes. Yeah, because our attention is. I love fantastic. you said that. I mean what? as parents, like oh. because I think you know, I'm a baseball, I'm a sports person, mm -hmm. so, but I hear parents all the time try to force their kids into stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's going to be on, a you're star. Change oh, your yeah. you're going to change your book? Yeah. Oh my God. They're it's too insanity. little. They're too Just little. Just tell them to have fun. It's about right. having fun. Right. It's not so about the dance good. moms. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or, and the proper way to sing, like, you're, they're shouting in the car. We're right. not going to shout. We're going right. to sing and talk Same. about, yes, all that good I stuff. I used to teach, teach, cool. teach a um, tap class for okay. like three and four year olds and it was you know pound 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 once they get their shoes on right no, 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 they want to make like, noise it's very very light this is how we do they it so noise. yeah yeah the other one's dancing divas it's called oh so my it's gosh, four to eight cute. year olds uh and that will be all styles of dance as okay. well so that you're not stuck in one mm -hmm. style and is that a 45 minute class that's 45 minutes long i think that's great yeah and then if you want to give me your opinion i'd be more than happy you can go on my website or email I'm looking into doing an all boys class. Interesting. Just all boys for an hour and doing 20 minutes of singing, 20 minutes of dancing, 20 minutes of acting just for boys. Great idea because you know, in dance, in most dance studios, there are one or two or three boys maximum and right. they're in with all the girls. They are. And they have to be, they must feel so self conscious. Probably. You know? Yes. But if they're in with their guys, it's right. Okay. Yeah. Well, guys, and if some of them want to dance and then dabble in singing and acting, mm -hmm. then where do you go? Right. Where do you go? So this exactly. will put everything yeah. together. That's a great idea. Uh, you know what, honestly, I mean, but it's it's hard because, you know, I think society deems it as not a masculine thing. But right. there's so many boys that want there to are. dance. There are. Oh, my God. There really are. And um, a lot of it comes out in high school. They're just like, I'm done with the peer pressure. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I think, you know, to be a well-rounded person, you should dabble in the arts. You mm -hmm. should teach Absolutely. your kids that such stuff. Right. Teach them about art. Teach them about ballet, mm -hmm. you know, sports, mm -hmm. everything. Make them a well-balanced person. Right. You know? And I, but I, and I feel like if... There's a class with all, like a boys class. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe people would be more open to the fact that it's, it's okay for it's your kid. Thing. That, that right. becomes a dude thing. It becomes, right. and, and you know what? Quite honestly, for those people that are not sports folks, a lot of football players take they, uh, dance they, classes. They do. Because they mm -hmm. are so bulky. <laughs> yeah. Like big guy like me, but I'm kind of fat though. But, awkward. Uh, but awkward. There you <laughs> go. Awkward. That's my four-year-old's word. Awkward. Dad. <laughs> so, but they're so bulky that they take dance to kind of keep them, let themselves limber. Balance. Balance. 
core. So you might think it's kind of corny, but it's really not. Mm. It's I mean, great exercise, and you know, um, the Russians, you know, some Russian ballet troops, wow. Russia I supports that. Your... They support that. Mm -hmm. They right. support that. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And, so um, that's in know. the works. So tell the audience out there where they can find you, your website, everything, and so they can come check you out. Okay. Cherry Hill Performing Arts Center. We're located at 1471 Brace Road in Cherry Hill. Uh, the website is www.cherryhillpac, like Performing Arts Center, all one word, .com. And do you want my phone number too? Yes. 856-888-1117. No stalkers, though. <laughs> That's my business line, not okay. my personal right. line. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming on to Morning yes. Coffee. Thank it's you for It's been a lot me. of fun. I appreciate and it. We go way back. We do, yeah. and good luck with <laughs> Dancing with the Stars. We'll be rooting, Dancing with the Cherry Hill Stars. We'll be rooting for you. Thank you. Hopefully you win. All right. You well, know, we'll, it's all good. Mm -hmm. It's we'll all good. Be, uh, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Here. We have an attractive orange and a distinguished apple. The two similar, but opposites. In theory, a wingman is needed, or perhaps a wing lemon. A friend to the orange and an acquaintance to the apple, the lemon brings the two opposites together. See, with a little fresh thinking, the universe, universe can be surprisingly smooth. <laughs> When we make Beyond Natural Dry Dog and Cat Foods, we start with real meat as the first ingredient. We leave out corn, wheat, and soy. And we own where our dry food is made, 100%. Can other brands say all that? For nutrition you can trust and your pet will enjoy. Does your food go beyond? Learn more at PurinaBeyond.com. Fitzpatrick's. Deli Dine for breakfast and lunch. And at night, Gourmet Dine for dinner with entrees and specialty sandwiches including certified black Angus cuts of beef and wild caught seafood, plus catering options for specialty events. Since 1989, Fitzpatrick's, your hometown place with upscale tastes. <laughs> 